Professor, thanks so much for coming on. So this all seemed kind of predictable. It's not a defense of Putin to say this was stupid. It was stupid. Now they're admitting it's stupid. Will anyone ever be punished for this? Yeah, it's an age-old rule, Tucker, of sanctions against autocratic governments that are, have impoverished populations. I mean, there's a paradox because the populations don't have a say, so they, they can't right. really, you know, they can't change policy unless they have a coup. And they're accustomed to a much lower standard of living. So if, if it's a big country like Russia that affects gas or something, we feel $7 a gallon gas or in California here or lack of baby formula a lot more than the Russians feel a lot worse punishment. These are people who lost 20 million in World War II. So th there's a paradox. And the, the solution was always in these Russian-speaking areas that are contested to deter him not to go further and then to have a plebiscite and see if they want to be with Putin or Ukraine. And how you get there is to resist his aggression. But the only way the Ukrainians are going to win very quickly is to do things that are unthinkable to a nuclear power. And that would be give them sh uh, shore to ship weapons to sink the Black Fleet, as people have talked about, or take out more Russian generals or conduct raids in Russia. That, that's really harebrained. And that's the type of preemptive offensive defense that would maybe give them a chance, but in itself would be crazy. And yet the more this goes on, this Verdun-like attrition, there's going to be people thinking of that. And so it's better to just get people together and say, this is a tragedy. And let's look at these people that speak a majority Russia in these things. And maybe we can have a plebiscite and sanctions can be ended if people will agree. And it might not work. It probably won't work. But I don't want to see us fight uh, to the last Ukrainian to get every single Russian out of Ukraine where the majority on the border is speaking Russian. And that's not to excuse uh, Vladimir Putin, but we've no. got some really crazy people saying crazy things about a very ill dictator who's got his finger on 6,000 nuclear weapons aimed at the West. So reckless, it's unbelievable. It's so nicely put. And Verdun-like is, is exactly right. It's terrifying. Victor Epstein, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, thank you.